In Francia Hilary Gerardi per c'è la vincitrice dell'ultima e a few minutes will start. Twenty first edition came Le mago, eh. Oh, sì. Sono belle ragazze, eh, Negroni? Grandissimo! Com'è? Tutto bene? Sì, Ale, eh? Sali
Yeah, it's my first time to do the race. Um, I came here on holiday about four years ago and uh, I just loved the place, so I knew I had to come back to, to run the race. I got to the, the lead, I got the lead in the race uh, at the top of the sixth 
pass. Um, I was just feeling quite, quite steady and I managed to get ahead of Nadir. And then I just knew that I had to uh, keep pushing as hard as I could to try and, and keep the lead because there's a lot of fast guys behind me. Yeah, I loved it. Um, for me, the, the hopping between the boulders is, is perfect. I think it's my, my strongest uh, skill. Um, yeah, we have a lot of um, rough terrain in Scotland where you're jumping between the rocks. So yeah, it suited me really well. So in 2018 uh, was my first time at Kima and I was able to win the race. And then in 2020, when there was no race, I came back to Valmazino for the Sentiero Roma. Uh, there was no women's record on it, so I wanted to come try again. And then, of course, as soon as uh, the date for Kima 2022 was announced, I had to come and come back and try to defend my title and try to see if I could beat uh, Nuria's record. So I love this race. I love Trofeo Kima for the race course, which is incredible and technical and alpine, but also for the story and how the race was created uh, to pay homage to Pierangelo Marchetti. And this, the race really has the support of the whole community, which makes it so special. And everyone embraces me here and is so welcoming when I come. And so I feel like it's a home away from home.